Hello there internet, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist for Quest. This video will cover how to keep your test data up to date in SAP. For this demo I've already established a connection to an ASE database. So to keep your test data up to date you'll need to run a comparison. Uh, we can do that from the tools menu but I like to use the ribbon bar. So I'll go ahead and click data compare. And if we had multiple connections, we could choose the different connections at this time. But since I only have one connected, uh, I'll just choose our uh, source and our target databases. As you can see, we have an issue with the comparison key for this table. And it's actually not one of the objects that I'm interested in comparing. So I'm going to go ahead and clear all. And what we're going to do is just match up uh, individual objects. So for instance, item, I'm going to choose on the target item test. And we can see uh, there's an issue with the column. So uh, in creating this table, I made it all varchar and it's not, uh, it's not working with this binary. So I'm going to go ahead and exclude this from the comparison. And let's add one more uh, warehouse. And we'll go ahead and click next. And I could uh, change the comparison options, but I'm going to leave them default. And as we can see, the warehouse is uh, up to date, but the item table has some differences. So let's go ahead and click finish and look at them. So if we wanted to uh, see the different objects, we can select them here in this field, but I'm going to go ahead and focus on item since it's the one that has the differences. So we can see everything. Uh, we can see what's different, what's in the source only, uh, what has different records, we can see in this case um, the name is different here and the price is different in this entry. Uh, we can see what's on the target only. So that's the differences themselves, but if we wanted to uh, update this data for our test environment, we could choose the synchronization wizard. So we can choose the direction. In this case, I'm going to make the target look like the source. And this is where the script will be saved and any sort of synchronization options. Again, I'm going to leave default. And we can choose to run it immediately. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it in the editor. And you can see from here, uh, we have the different inserts, deletes, and updates. We can continue editing from here as we so choose. And that's taking you through the process of updating your test data. Hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about uh, Toad for SAP and what it can do for you. For more information, you can check out the help file. It has a wide range of information as well as tutorials to help get you started. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com and clicking the blog tab. Quest provides award-winning online support at www.support.quest.com where you can find robust knowledge-based articles and assistance from our expert technical support engineers. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash toad for SAP solutions. Thank you and have a tremendous day.